by nine. Black might have um, figured something out. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? Okay. Right. Press for information. I'm looking for Vince Black. Tell me whatever you know about him and we don't have to have a problem here. He's not a threat to you. He just wants to know about Vince. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. You wanna know about Vince? Sure, no problem. Vince and I work together. He used his agency contacts to get me merchandise. Keep Interpol off my back. But then Vince got greedy. And so I shot him in the face. Like this. Okay. We're checking boss. Son of a bitch, he's gonna get a uh, kill. Get him! And so are these guys. Oh. Boom! They're all dead. And let's grab what I can off these guys while I'm here. Do -do 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 -do. And here we go. We are back with another episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I am Ben and this is Mr. Wolf Gaming. We are outside the machine which is Vaclav Kola's bookshop because in the last episode he called us up right at the end and said that he had time to sort out and calibrate our systems so that we could use all of the augments that we have at our, our, uh, at our disposal without overheating which means I don't have to deactivate any more to get the new ones yay so we're gonna head inside and get myself all tuned up and then we're gonna go do some side missions because I've still got a couple to clear off one of which being the finding out where Vincent Black is and one that will pop on later down the line because I have tried to record this once today and it um, the recording corrupted so it basically kinda went screwy it's been happening a lot to me recently and I don't know why they come out nice when they finish but it takes a couple of times. Anyway, that's enough of me moaning. Time to go see Cola. Because basically, we're not here for uh, Ben moans while he plays Deus Ex. We're here for Deus Ex Mankind Divided and not much else at this point in time. So let's get this stuff rolling. Uh, I've already searched everything. Yeah, I have already searched everything in here. I just wanted to make sure. Right, okay. So, anyway. Hit the red book. Yeah, sorry, but anyway. Right, so. Come in the elevator, hit down, and go to the workshop. Put the gun away and get ready to see the crazy scientist. You know, I'm in a pretty good mood despite the uh, recording corrupting the first time around. Mainly just because I really do enjoy this game and it has been a good day for me today. So, anyway, here we go. Uh, spin around the corner and let's talk to Cola. Shit. Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. Okay, you got so... The for me or what? Let's talk politics. 
You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow gonna make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy, McFancy diploma. Someone who's gonna fight! So, basically, he thinks bullshit, Victor Marchenko's a better leader than, um, Talish Rucker. If the restoration vote passes, that, if that's what I'm getting, that, that if that's what I'm kind of picking up from that, but then again, Cola's already always been a little bit more like that. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are teeth. <laughs> anyway, speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? I do apologize for talking over that there. Anyway, here we go. Let's check out what the procedure is going to do to me this time. This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you going to do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? Yep. So let's do this. Alright. Please tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long. I promise. And don't worry, man. I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. Into the chair. And out of the chair. He was right when he said that weren't gonna take long. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. Right, that gives me something fun to, that gives me some fun stuff to play around with. Um, I'm just going to see if I can reactivate my good old-fashioned friend Typhoon while I'm at it. Hey! Typhoon's been reactivated. That's good. That gives me, um, decent, uh, that gives me the, uh, peace of mind. So, yep, looks like I can do everything again. So side mission right now, read the map, okay. Um, on the back of an old, okay, um, while we're here, we're going to read that. So, story items. Here we go, Dobra Miller's map. There we go. So that's for one of the side missions that I need to get done. Uh, just checking out the other items I picked up, which I should have done off camera while I'm here. And let's get moving because we're all set to go. And I'm just going to go out this way because it's easier. So, uh, let's climb up here, and open this, and let's make our way back towards the train station so we can go to the next area. Do 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 da 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 do 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 come on you silly little bugger there we go gotta love it when things come together 
Okay, come on, you stupid little bugger. Jensen's having a slow day today, it seems. It's over the hours for PC, one of the two. So yeah, anyway, here we go. Let's get into the next... Oh. Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Arya. It wasn't me. Okay. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. Right, so considering that was the side quest I was telling you guys about at the start, uh, I'm gonna go start that off. Why are we drawn to something? What's wrong? We can't let them get away with this to tell us. What's your hurry? Right, so we talked to this woman first. Here we go. Our neighbors, I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? Uh, no. But I used to be. I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Oh, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He, he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? Um... You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may. Still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. Oh, and you yeah. You could actually protect me. The police could as well, it's to be fair. Case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Okay, yep. I'm gonna accept this I'll because talk to the this is a... To see where he this is something that I am interested help in. Him. I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Right, okay, so before I talk to Montag... I'm gonna talk to her and get as much information as I can. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. So, witnesses. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh, God, stupid Daria. 
I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Okay. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. So, so basically, someone else. this is Didn't Ben Blaze. Not really. cop, you like proper cop. For you an can't episode. just come to a big city and all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work. That well, for part of one at least. So anyway, we'll go with the murderer first. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her, cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. Uh, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Okay, so, killer. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man. But I can't say for sure. All right, so, police. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? Now, I already know this. The Let's be what honest. Kind of the police in Prague and in this game, they don't give a crap about augmented people. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. So, Montag. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. Mm, all right, time to leave. But yeah, I get where they're coming from. To be fair, if you think about it, mm, do Prague doesn't give a crap about augmented people. So it's a case of they literally send the flunkies to do the yeah, proper work. So Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Uh, Either she saw God. something or she did Sometimes I really do want to punch she's the cops scared. in the face. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing, or about doing things the okay, right way. Okay, no, that's actually, I'm going to challenge that. There's no reason this should be complicated. If someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an og or not has nothing to do with it. Makes perfect sense to me. Your favorites before the law, eh? Okay, but what if the law itself is prejudiced, eh? As an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be, for 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. Alright. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? Very good question. 
just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was gonna work your case for you. Hey, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? Uh, a little a bastard's wrapping me around his girl. finger because he look, knows that I said I help My orders her. are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Right, okay, so. Uh, let's do some looking around, because there's yeah. always extra crap around here, so... Who do they think they are? Right. And basically, there's extra clues around this area, so I'm just gonna pick them up, because I know where all of them are. And I can just, just do it nice and quickly. Doesn't mean I do. Are you a journalist? No. Hmm. But she was. I think he found something. She had enemies. Hmm. I hear there's been a series of these. Away from the crimes. A piece of broken needle. And bruises on her neck. Um, okay, so there's three, uh, there's more evidence, so this, I've got to remember where the hell it is. There we go, so all the evidence has been picked up. So, let's go to Johnny's house, which is actually in the next section over where TF-29 is headquarters is. And funnily enough, it's where the you second, where the, well, where the, I believe the last part of the quest with Dobra Miller that I've uh, started last, ep fin uh, finished last episode, uh, fi finishes off. I think I got the last step is in the next section as well, so we're going to move that way and get into this correct point. I believe we will go talk to her husband, the dead woman's husband, obviously, and make our way towards that the the secondary side quest and do those for today and save the story mission for next time round. Uh, show me your damn papers, Og. Right. So, just gonna jump on a train and go to the main central hub while we wait. So, here we go. Off to the aptly named Johnny Gunn's apartment. Now I have to admit, with a name like that, it does kind of sound like you're going to be the, um, the culprit. But let's see what happens. gonna go through the org entrance so I don't get carded because that kind of helps. Now as far as I remember you go straight up here let's sprint for a bit and then hook a right and just go straight down this main road and you end up at his started. apartment complex. Now luckily I remember where the little bugger lives, on what floor the little bug she bugger lives to. on so I don't need to get lost again. Which is always fun when you manage to get lost in an episode. Especially for me. 
jak to zastał. Look out. Right, so, we're back here again. This is, of course, where the father of Cuckoo Crazy Woman lives. Cuckoo Crazy Woman being the one that made the bombs that blew up, uh, one of the bombs that blew up Rosika Station, of course. So, we are on the second floor of the apartment complex. Um, we're going to move through here. Do, 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 do. And meet Johnny Gun. Where are you going? Right, so talk. Here we go. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gun? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? Okay! I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Okay, so condole. Angela's dead. Sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. And you didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already. Your detective friend okay. called, told me to sit tight and wait for you. So here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Yeah, this guy's a little bit um, over the top. So um, I'm just going to ask Who while I'm here. Tonight? I was out killing Angie, doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? Uh. If I'm going to be honest. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Men who kill, I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real okay. punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. Yep. That's not how it works. Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Well, Two, that's a good point. Society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? Okay. So. Uh, do 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 do. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah. So. Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? Uh, I'm gonna do this for finesse. It doesn't mean anything. It's just that I dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Really? You know, you look familiar. We didn't work together, did we? Hey, did you know Giradelli or maybe Powell? No, I doubt I knew them personally. That's too bad. We were all in New South Wales together. Mm, okay. I thought maybe you... <laughs> Never mind. And they're all doing fine now, relatively. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Okay, so I'm keeping an eye on me but, uh, so I can get the right options. The power was not that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts. He popped Omega whatever. twice, so I hit Q want. there. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy is so much better Omega? than Omega, right? At least that's how they sold it to me. Popped it again? For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire. Alpha. But sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through Omega my Omega again. But I can't trust right So feet. alloy hands. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy. Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do and what would happen to me if I didn't. 
Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. Hasn't been for a very long time. Well, considering the guy left a fingerprint and both his hands are, yeah. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? Uh, being honest. I'm sorry for what Beltow I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry for what Beltow did to him. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. Right, so as far as I'm aware, having... Oh, okay, so... You got me mixed up with someone else. It happens all the time. See? You found compelling evidence. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna close the door and let him get along with his life because there's nothing that he's got to do with this. And I'm gonna go across town and do the last part of the subquest that I think is um, linked to Jobra Miller which should be checking out her husband's little stash. See this is where the interesting part oh so here's Palisade Bank. So somewhere around here there's something I need to look at. Now I'm gonna bring the map up because I can't exactly remember where the hell it is. So. <laughs> Investigate blast tags. Off, uh, off it. Yeah. Right, so. Okay, so it's round the corner and up in that little section. Okay, so I know where I know where that is. I can get to there. Oi! Stop popping up, you stupid thing. So I know where I'm going. That's good. Means I can get this done nice and easily, and we can hop along. So we go down. Up. And around, and it should be one of these. It's whichever one I've got the code for. Two, there uh, we go. So there's obviously something behind here. Stash. Okay, breaker. News. Uh, that's the doorway. Okay. Oh, great. A person. Well, you. Who are you? What are you doing here? If Blaster sees you, he'll... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. Vlaster's not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. Not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago I was pulled from a train. 
I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. Okay. It is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Vlast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Uh, okay, Mega, here we go. I saw segregation in Gollum. Oppression, crime. But I also saw courage. People finding ways to keep going. I know it's bad. But I'm not sure it's worth making a deal with the devil just to get out. If you believe that, then you go live there. Spend five months getting kicked, spit on, locked up and interrogated about things you know nothing about. I'll take my chances with people like Vlasta, people like Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Davni Obvut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know, please. This is my ticket now, do you understand? Promise me. Uh, okay, um... I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black. What else can you tell me about your dealings with him? You pay these cops in Golem a lot of money and they get you to Vince's apartment. Then you pay Vince. Then Blaster comes to pick up the cargo, so then you pay Blaster. Blaster and Vince, they had some kind of fight about money, about the location of this place. Blaster's men blindfolded me and brought me here and told me to wait. It's Blaster! Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to okay. do. Stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only so it turns out... Uh, uh, any of them. The I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Black might have um, figured something out. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? Okay. Right. Press for information. I'm looking for Vince Black. Tell me whatever you know about him and we don't have to have a problem here. He's not a threat to you. He just wants to know about Vince. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. You wanna know about Vince? Sure, no problem. Vince and I work together. He used his agency contacts to get me merchandise. Keep Interpol off my back. But then Vince got greedy. And so I shot him in the face. Like this. Okay. We're checking boss. Son of a bitch, he's gonna get, uh, killed. And so are these guys. Boom! They're all dead. And let's grab what I can off these guys while I'm here. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. So, uh, let's go up top. There isn't enough respect for the old ways anymore. It could not be in this. I tried. Fed, tell me you saw that. You should check. And now I've got more people to kill. Yay! I like doing this because it's fun. Burn in hell from the depths of. I uh, don't need shotgun shells. Eh, I could do with another fire grenade, why the hell not?
Okay, that's a call. So as long as I get out of the search area, then he can't find me. So, that looks like uh, that's the end of that, but she gave me somewhere to check for Vince. Um, I'm going to call the episode here and park up right outside of the Palisade Bank. So, once again, this has been Deus Ex Man Kind Divided, and I am Ben with Mist Wolf gaming have an absolutely brilliant day wherever you are in the world and don't forget to please like comment down below and subscribe for more content see you in the next episode